to T and T, the economy news show from Tradimo and myself. Okay, let's start uh, with uh, Wednesday, the uh, 17th of April, uh, with uh, United Kingdom. The inflation rate in the United Kingdom rose to 1.9% in February. Uh, rises went up due to food, alcohol, tobacco and cultural goods. I don't uh, expect big movements in the British pound then. A couple hours of later, in Canada, uh, several uh, numbers uh, will come out. Uh, the balance of trade, a trade deficit of uh, 3.9 billion Canadian dollars expected from 4.25 billion. Exports uh, rose 2.9% first increase since nine months because of higher oil prices and imports increase of 1.5 percent because of aircraft purchases. In the same time uh, the inflation rate for Canada will come out. An inflation rate of uh, 1.7 percent is expected from 1.5 percent. So in my opinion uh, in the Canadian dollar I do not see high volatility. Same time to the uh, numbers of uh, Canada the balance of trade for February in the United States will come out. Uh, by the forecast, a higher trade deficit is expected from uh, 51 billion to 52.8 billion US dollars. If this number will be confirmed, a higher pressure in the uh, US dollar will be seen. Next day on Wednesday, the April 18, uh, the first numbers uh, which are very important on this day are from Germany. The PMI in Germany was uh, lower in March, 45 is expected. Still the Brexit discussion, weak automotive sector and lower global demand taking pressure on Germany's economy. I told you also last time the motor of the European Union is uh, getting weaker, so I don't see clear moves uh, in the euro currency. A couple hours of later, at 12.30 p.m., numbers in the United States will come out, uh, the retail sales for March. A higher number of retail sales is expected from minus 0.2% uh, to 0.6%. Uh, if this number will be confirmed, this uh, should boost the US dollar currency. In the evening on the same day, uh, in Japan, the inflation rate for March will come out. Uh, market expectations are 0.3%. Prices of housing costs are flat, but uh, food, transportation and communications fell the third time. Thanks for your attention and I hope to see you soon.